David Simpson Jr. joins us here on the John Mandola Show. Um, Dallas area high school football, Susquehanna University fo football. Um, let's talk a little bit about uh, the game of football for you. When you first started playing, the, the love of the game, and uh, how you found yourself at Susquehanna. Yeah, so um, started playing football. Uh, I actually found Cole on the, on the schoolyard, and uh, I... You know, I didn't know anything about it when I was a young kid. I ended up, my dad and his dad ended up being our coaches in mini football, and we've been playing together ever since. And um, I've been loving every minute of it. I just finished up at Susquehanna, and it was a heck of a ride, a heck of a career, and I definitely made a great choice. Let's go back to, to the high school days at Dallas area. And, um, what was what was high school football like for you and, and your friends at Dallas? Uh, it was a great time. You know, I, I still have great friends I played with at Dallas, and we talk all the time. We stay in touch. Um, my senior year, though, I mean, we we had, you know, we had a bit of a coaching struggle for, you know, my first couple years playing for Dallas, and then Coach Manello came in my senior year, and it was, it was awesome. He showed us how to play the right way, do things the right way, and, you know, it, it made me a better player for it. You talk about the recruiting process. You go from high school to college football. Mm -hmm. Coach Manello kind of grounds everybody pretty quickly. He goes, listen, I'm, you guys are a bunch of Division Three football players. And he doesn't mean that with disrespect. He just means it like, hey, this is reality. If you want to play, here's where you could play. You could be with a really good program. But the big picture is to get a really good education. If you want football to be part of it, that was it. So tell us a little bit about thoughts from high school to college, some schools that were in the mix and why you decided on Susquehanna University. So, yeah, I mean, me and Cole and a couple of the other guys, we, we he and I ended up being the only ones to play, but he sat us, Coach Manel sat us down and we had a, a great conversation, basically. He wanted us, he wanted what was best for us in the end, you know, and he helped us every step of the way. Um, I would have, I would have never been able to help get to Susquehanna without his connections that he has there and he has so many connections all over the country in college football but you know he was looking at the Centennial Conference and it's such a great Division Three football conference where I was able to get a great business, I was able to get a great business degree, do great things for my education but I also played for a great football team too and I, I played with I played with guys that could, could have played Division One. so you know the talent level is, is really there. It doesn't really matter where you play in, in some respect because it's college football at the end of the day. You know, you're you're going to play great talent no matter where you go. Education at Susquehanna, uh, second and not a great uh, academic institution. Talk a little bit about the standards at Susquehanna. And getting in there, is, it's not an easy feat for the average dude, man. No, no, definitely not. Um, they actually call our conference the Ivy League of Division Three. believe it or not, Centennial. So there's a lot of great schools in it. I, I picked one that was awesome for my major. It was the, the business program at Susquehanna, second to none in the country, wherever, ha whatever have you. I was able to go abroad uh, and study in London and have an internship. And I was able to do a lot of great things to help me build my future at that school. Let's talk about the, the football component. Going from high school to college, a lot different. You get in a, you're playing against men. Coach Manello is one of those guys that say, "Listen, you're playing against 21 year old, 22 year old guys sometimes." So, what was that experience like the freshman year? Because that kind of hits you in the face pretty quick. You're like, "Wow, am I, am I ready for this?" And you kind of just you got to find your way through that. Absolutely. So, um, I mean, I'll, I'll say that Coach Manello, in terms of weight room and terminology and you know knowledge of the game, you know, I didn't know everything I needed to know at the college level, but I knew a lot because of the way Coach Manello taught us. You know, I was I was strong enough and that really helped me um, my freshman year. I mean, I got there, I was probably the 19th out of 20 linebackers. I was taking 15 reps in camp and, you know, I kind of just kept working, kept chipping. I got in the film room with uh, our coordinator at the time and I just kind of just kept my head down, kept working and then before you know it, Cole and I were on the field together for the last four games of the year, you know, starting as freshmen. So it was it was really awesome, um, and that 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 type of thing is like a life lesson to me. You know, it really helped me just become better in all aspects. As far as uh, being able to do it, as you said, with, with Cole having somebody by you to keep encouraging you, whether it's you to him or him to you, I'm sure it kind of went back and forth, but. Uh, you know, nonetheless, it's always a nice safety net. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so Cole, Cole um, played a different position, played a different linebacker position and caught some injuries and kept playing really well in camp and found his way in the starting lineup. So, you know, I knew I had to get there with him. You know, he was 
he was traveling and playing with the team and I just wanted to get there. I wanted to keep playing with him and he was you know, there pushing me, encouraging me every step of the way to just keep sticking, just keep your head down, keep working and it really paid off. Let's uh, forge ahead to the 2019 football campaign at Susquehanna. You guys had a tremendous year. Um, you guys would have loved to make the NCAA playoffs. That didn't happen. Uh, unfortunately, and a, probably a team that was deserving of it, as you guys uh, feel strongly about that. And I think there's some, you guys have a really good argument about that as well. But let's talk about the, the specialness of the season itself. Oh, it was a great year. You know, the 2020 senior class, my senior class, we came into Susquehanna, you know, there was a long stretch where Susquehanna football was kind of suffering. And we really, our vision was to, to get to those national playoffs. I know we came up short and it, it, it hurt. It definitely hurt, you know, but we, we got some bowl games. We finally got us on the national radar again. Um, we definitely did what we needed to do. You know, again, I wish we could have made those national playoffs, but it was such a special year. You know, we ended up having the fifth ranked defense in the country. Um, and just to be in the middle of all of that, especially with Cole and all my other guys, it was it was something special. And to be a captain of that team was an absolute honor. Talk about the the, the leadership you guys took. Um, you know, whether it's from your parents, you, you mentioned Coach Manello, but to be able to to be a leader on a on a team like Susquehanna with tremendous success. Uh, yeah, like I said, you know, it was it was an honor. You know, because there's a lot of kids there that you know. It's, a, it's not just, you know, the captains. It's, there's a lot of leaders around there, too. And everybody holds each other to such a high standard, you know, when it comes to football. And we just make each other better, you know. We had a great senior class. And, you know, I had a lot of role models before me that I played with that showed me the way and showed me how to become that leader that, you know, I eventually became. And uh, it was really something special and something I'm going to remember for a, a really long time. You're not too far removed from high school. I mean, hey, you're a senior now in college, but if you can think of a lesson or two or some advice maybe for a high school student athlete, could be any sport, doesn't have to be football. Uh, would it be, hey, go to a place where you're going to play, go to a place that ha is a great academic institution, Go to a place where you feel connected with the coaches. What stands out to you? You know, um, I would say that just going through the recruiting process and everything, you know, if it's too good to be true what you heard from a coach, then it probably is. You know, you got to go somewhere that's a good fit for you, you know. And it ain't all about the divisions. It's really not. It's about where you're a good fit, where you're going to play, and where you're going to excel in the classroom and on, and on the football field. And, and that's really what's most important because if, if you don't follow that and if you don't trust yourself and try to do what's best for yourself, um, it's not going to work out for you and you're not going to be as happy as you would be you know, at a place <clears throat> you know, that's a good fit for you. We're going to ask Cole Dixon the same question um, about you, but uh, what's it like watching this guy play and what do you think he brings to the game of football when you watch Cole Dixon play? Uh, just complete savageness and absolutely ruthless behavior, man. The guy is, he's best player i ever been around. Um, and the fact that I got to play next to him for all four years was just really special. Um, he's nothing good but good for the game, I would say. Uh, and especially for Susquehanna, I mean, he was a game changer. He's an All-American and he absolutely deserved that without a question. I thought he was a first team guy. Um, but. He's a great leader too. Just an absolute awesome leader. Really good role model for the for the young guys on the team. And uh, you know, it was just really special to be able to play with him. Let's talk about your family. How important of a role did they play in your success academically, athletically? Who are those people around the holidays here that you yeah. can you can kind of reflect back and think, man, I'm one lucky dude. So you know, my parents were with me through every step of the way, through every high and every low. My mom and my dad, and I can never thank them for that, you know, enough. And my brother, my younger brother Dewey, was always there for me too. He was a heck of a player. He's gonna be a heck of a player at Susquehanna. He was just an all-conference guy. Um, I always had him to lean on, and you know, those people are my rock. You know, I. I I would have never been able to be successful in my academic or my athletic career without them. And, and we, we reflect back, I know we're, we're talking a little bit before we, we spoke on this interview, but the fact that your brother Dalton played in center, 
um, the relationship, showing him the ropes. I'm sure he would have a lot of nice things to say, but a uh, special time in your life these last several months. Yeah, yeah, you know, getting to play with him side by side. You know, he, he really worked, and we had, a, we had a senior captain at his spot the year before who was a great player, but he really just stepped right in, took the role, and just ran away with it. And it's been just awesome to be able to play with him. You know, it's kind of a dream come true. You never, not a lot of people get to play with their brother in high school and college. And when I've had the one year with him in high school, he actually dislocated his knee. So I never actually got to play with him. So to get that year back was, was really special. Networking opportunities with uh, your friends now at Susquehanna. Going forward the next two, five, ten years from now, do you, do you see yourself with those connections in this business major that you're in? Absolutely. Um, I actually was just networking with uh, an alum from 84 who actually played linebacker too. So, you know, it's, it's things like that. The football the, the football networking and alumni at Susquehanna is, is almost unmatched. You know, all those guys want to just take care of each other. and I'm definitely going to be involved with that in the future. David Simpson Jr. talking about his career uh, as a Susquehanna Riverhawk. Uh, congratulations. Great to catch up with you over the holiday. Right, thank you. Appreciate it.